Hello everybody! Watch this video to find out what to do if you connected a TV to your computer by HDMI and there is no sound at all. As we all know, the HDMI technology allows sending digital video and audio signal simultaneously from a computer to a television set. However, many users complain about having no sound when they connect their TV to the computer and try to play something like videos and movies. If you also face this problem, this video is for you, because I'm going to show you several ways of fixing it in a Windows operating system. First of all, let's find out why exactly there is no sound. Actually, there are lots of things that, that may potentially cause this problem. To begin with, check if your cable is alright. Use it to connect another TV or display with built-in speakers to your computer and see what happens. If you hear the sound, you should check your computer settings. If there is no sound, replace the HDMI cable. Check the sound settings on your TV. The sound might be disabled. Talking of computers, uh, here are some common things causing sound issues. A wrong sound driver or an incompatible playback device are selected in the settings. Or speakers are selected instead of the HDMI port in default sound settings. The first step to take after you connect the TV is to restart your computer, as this simple fix is usually the best way to eliminate minor issues and software errors. So, method 1. Set the TV as your default playback device. When several sound output devices or sound cards are connected to one computer, there might be a conflict between them. It is quite possible that an HDMI audio output is not enabled automatically because the speakers, external or built-in ones, are determined as the default output device. To change it, open Settings, System, Sound, and select the proper output device. In this section, open More Sound Settings, Jump to the tab Playback and your TV should be displayed as one of the choices. Right-click on the TV and choose Set it as default device. If the TV is not listed here, right-click on an empty area and check if the settings Show disabled devices and Show disconnected devices are enabled. Now right-click on an audio device and check if it is enabled. If it's not, click here to turn it on. After that, click to set it as default choice. Apply and OK to save the changes and close the window. After that, check if you can hear the sound. In the same way, you can switch the sound back to the speakers. Hello, friends! If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you will be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. Method 2. Update your current drivers. One more thing to cause your sound to disappear when you connect your TV by HDMI is the installation of incompatible drivers, so the first step should be to update them. You can do it manually by downloading and installing suitable drivers from the manufacturer's website. And remember to check that the drivers are compatible with the operation of your Windows operating system. Double-click on the driver file to start the installation. Also, you can update drivers from Device Manager. Right-click on the Start menu and select Device Manager. In the window that opens, select Sound, Video and Game Controllers. Right-click on the device and choose Update Driver. Search automatically. Alternatively, right-click on the device and select Uninstall Device. Uninstall. Then look at the menu above and click Action. Scan for hardware changes. After that, the adapter should be reinstalled and the sound on your TV connected by HDMI should work properly. There are more settings to check. Expand audio inputs and outputs and if there is a gray arrow next to a device, right-click on it and choose Enable. Another method is to uninstall the device and update the drivers. Update driver. Uninstall. Action, 
scan for hardware changes. After that, jump to System Devices, expand it, and find High Definition Audio Controller to see if it is enabled. We strongly recommend against uninstalling it. If you do that and restart the computer, it may not be installed automatically and the sound might be gone for good. Another thing to check is to have a look in the sound, video and game controllers and find out if there are items like AMD or NVIDIA High Definition Audio, which depends on the actual graphics adapter installed in your system. Enable it, try updating the driver or uninstalling it and scanning the configuration for hardware changes. Method 3. Rollback graphics drivers. If the HDMI port worked properly but you begin encountering issues after an update, rolling back the graphics drivers could help you. When you roll back a driver, the currently installed driver is removed and replaced with its previous version. This process should eliminate any driver errors and it may fix the problem of having no sound on your TV. Open Device Manager and find Display Adapters. Right-click on your graphics card and open its properties. After that, open the Driver tab and click to Roll Back Driver and specify the reason. Then click Yes to restart the computer. Now it will boot with the previous version of the graphics drivers. If the rollback driver option is grayed out, it means that your operating system does not have any older drivers to fall back on. If that's the case, try other methods instead. Method 4. Run Windows Troubleshooter Another method to fix the problem is to use the integrated troubleshooter tool. Open Settings. System Sound More sound settings and click on the option Troubleshoot common sound problems for output devices. Select the device from the list and click Next. You will see some directions on the screen. Follow them to run the troubleshooter and apply recommended fixes. Restart the computer if necessary. Check the sound settings to see if this device is disabled. Open its properties and enable sound here. After that, open Advanced to see the Properties window, switch to the General tab and find Device Usage. Then change this option to Use this device – Enable. Then jump to the tab Levels to see if the device is enabled here. The slider should not be anywhere below 50% and the speaker icon should not be marked red. Method 5. Restart your Android TV. If you want to connect a smart TV, try restarting it after all the cables are put in their proper ports. Depending on a specific model and operating system, the restart process may differ, but the usual way is to press and hold the on-off button for a while. Alternatively, you can find the restart option in the settings. Method 6. Select the proper HDMI port and cable. Some TVs have more than one HDMI port, so you should always double-check if you stick the cable into the proper port. Usually, there is some extra information next to an HDMI port in addition to its number. You can see such abbreviations as DVI, STB, ARC or MHL. Most of the time, such ports differ by the functionality they offer. If a device has an HDMI DVI port, it means this port is intended to connect the TV to computers and laptops, and your TV is going to work as display, that is, without any sound. For example, if your TV has HDMI DVI port version 1.3 and you connected your computer to this port with the cable, you are not going to have any sound at all. On the other hand, the newer HDMI version 1.4 introduces proper support for sound signal. So if you have a relatively old TV, the older standard could be the root of your problem. Try inserting the cable into another port. Method 7. Turn Bluetooth off. Some users claim they have fixed the problem by turning off Bluetooth on their laptops. The television sound reappeared as soon as they did that. So you can also try turning off Bluetooth in the system settings or disabling the Bluetooth adapter in Device Manager. Method 8. Change boot options in BIOS. On one of internet forums, users discovered that they could fix the sound problem with a Lenovo laptop by changing boot options in BIOS. 
With legacy support and legacy first options enabled, there was no sound signal on HDMI. Everything worked fine when they switched to UEFI boot mode instead. So find the boot section in your BIOS and change this option. And that is all for now. Hopefully this video was useful. Remember to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Leave comments to ask questions. Thank you for watching and good luck. While you're watching this video, civilians in Ukraine are dying from attacks and bombardments on the Russian Federation. Putin's insane regime has attacked a peaceful country in the very heart of Europe. Support the Ukrainian army by making a contribution to the fund Come Back Alive. Use the QR code or the link below the video to transfer any amount of money that will boost Ukrainian resistance and help it counter Russia's dishonorable invasion.